Julia Morgan. Julia Morgan was an American architect who worked in California. She led a career of nearly 50 years and designed nearly 800 structures in California and Hawaii. Julia supported the arts and crafts movement, which stood for traditional craftsmanship using simple forms, romantic, medieval, or folk styles of decoration. She was also a supporter of California pottery and often used it in her buildings as well as her homes. She is regarded as America's most successful woman architect. Julia was born in San Francisco, California on January 20th, 1872. Her and her family lived in San Francisco for the first two years of her life. Her family then relocated to Oakland. Julia attended and graduated from Oakland High School in 1890. She then enrolled in the University of California in Berkeley. Here she met architect Bernard Maybeck, who mentored her and encouraged her to attend École Nationale Supérieure de Belles Arts in Paris. She graduated from the University of California in 1894 with a civil, civil engineering degree. She was the only woman in her graduating engineering class as well as one of the first women to ever graduate with this degree. <clears throat> a year after graduating from university, she left for Paris to prepare for École Nationale Supérieure de Belles Arts. The school had not allowed women entry to date, but this changed in 1897. It took Julia three tries to finally be accepted into the school. She scored too low on the first try, and the judges tampered with her scores on the second attempt. She studied for another year after this with architect Francois Benjamin Chalcenich. She finally passed on the third try by placing 13th of 376 applicants. Julia finished her studies in three years as supposed to be expected five. She received a certificate in architecture for palatial theater design in 1902. She was the first woman to receive such award from the school. In 1904, after returning back to California, Julia opened her own firm as a residential architect to great success. Also in 1904, Julia was the first woman to obtain an architecture license in California. Julia, Julia's work featured shingles, exposed support beams, and horizontal lines that blended with the landscape. Not much is known about Julia's personal life. She was never married and never had any children. She worked tirelessly and lived modestly. Appearing on magazines, magazines and publishing her work was not something that concerned her. She retired after a long and successful career in the early 1950s and passed away in 1957. She had her blueprint, blueprints, drawings, and files destroyed when she retired. Julia was posthumous and died, inducted into the California Hall of Fame in 2008, as well as was a recipient of the two, 2014 AIA Gold Medal, making her the first female architect to receive such honor. From an early start, Julia overcame many obstacles standing in front of her simply because she was a woman. She persevered and was triumphant in making a successful career and truly was a pioneer for women in the architecture world. Here we see photos. On the left is a photo of the Oakland YWCA, which was designed by Julia in 1915. Other YWCAs designed by Julia include San Pedro, Hollywood, Riverside, Long Beach, Pasadena, and San Francisco locations. The San Francisco building is presently used as a museum of Chinese Historical Society of America. Here on the right, we see El Campanile at Mills College. This was designed by Julia in 1905. It originally included 10 bells in its design, and it, was it is believed to be the first bell tower on a United States campus. Merrill Hall at Silomar. Silomar Summer Conference Center. 
Julia designed and built 16 of the buildings on the property between 1913 and 1929. Julia worked with redwood and local stone. She followed the California arts and crafts aesthetic. Merrill Hall was the last building to be built on the grounds by Julia. Recommended for the project by Phoebe Aspersion Hurst. Building is located in Pacific Grove, California. Finally, we see Hearst Castle. Julia is best known for her work on, her, on Hearst Castle. Hearst Castle is located in San Simeon, California and is over 250,000 acres. It was designed between 1919 and 1947 for newspaper mogul William Randolph Hearst. All of Julia's training came into play with the Hearst Castle project. The classical training in Paris, her engineering studies, and use of, re use of reinforced concrete all were part of the building of the castle. Julia was to design the main building and guest, ca guest houses for the site. Julia personally designed many aspects of the project. This included grounds, pools, animal shelter structures, and even tile. She skillfully worked in the late Bale's art style, which followed rules and forms from past centuries and combined them to the then current architectural programs. California art. California is not so much a state of the union as it is an imagination. Quote by William Irwin Thompson. There are two things that really shape California's culture, the people and the art. I was born and raised in Southern California, but really didn't have much knowledge of California art. There is so much to learn from California's art, art that has been created and art that continues to flourish and evolve. Over the course of this class, we've learned about many different types of aesthetics, forms, styles, mediums, etc. We've also learned about the time periods of when art has been created and how that helps shape the way the artist works and what they work on. The early maps of Henry Briggs, which showed California as an island, the 1910 San Francisco Admissions Day Festival posters, our state's flower and bird, Lucy Taya's traditional Miwok basket designs, the gold rush that began in 1848, the Great Depression of the 1930s, Julia Morgan's Cecile Lamar, Urban Freeways by Wayne Theobald, are all just some of the highlights of the things we've learned about. This is a photo by, called Migrant Mother by Dorothy Elaine. It's a portrait of a mother of seven who struggled during the Great Depression. This photo was taken in De Palma, California in 1936. Next is a painting, Sugarloaf Peak, El Dorado County by Thomas Hill, made in 1865. Thomas Hill was born in England and raised in Massachusetts. He came to California in 1861. His style was true to that of the Hudson River School, which used detailed foreground, rosy autumn coloring, and strong diagonal lines. He also embraces the tenets of transcendentalism. Thomas Hill also included Native American figures in his work to show a sense of wilderness. As we saw before, here is Merrill Hall, a Silomar by Julia Morgan in 19, 1913. In a Silomar, Julia Morgan worked with redwood and local stone. She followed the California arts and crafts aesthetic and had a strong sense of horizontality that allowed the structures to blend with their natural surroundings of cypress and sand dunes. This building still stands today. Lastly is a painting by Grace Carpenter Hudson called Giuseppe Dick, made in 1908. Hudson was a painter who painted hundreds of pieces of the Pomo, of the Pomo Indians. This is a portrait of Giuseppe Dick, who was a famous Pomo weaver. Hudson paid very paid very much attention detail in her paintings. She had a way of depicting clothing and objects with immaculate detail. Works cited. 